Annuity, a fixed sum of money paid to someone each year, typically for the rest of their life. Also, a form of insurance or investment entitling the investor to a series of annual sums. Present value, the value in the present of a sum of money, in contrast to some future value it will have when it has been invested at compound interest. Wow! The first formula is PV equals A divided by 1 plus I to the power of N. PV represents the amount of money you put in, so known as present value. A, or which is annuity, is how much money you will get back. I stands for the interest rate. Take note in that the interest rate is always divided by the number of compounding periods. The second equation is the sum of all the present values. Sn equals little a bracket r to the power of n minus 1 bracket divided by r minus 1. Sn is the sum of the present values. A is equal to the future value times 1 divided by bracket 1 plus i bracket to the power of 1. n equals the number of payments multiplied by the number of times compounded, and r equals 1 divided by bracket 1 plus i bracket to the power of 1. So basically the first payment. The third equation is capital I equals capital A minus PV. I represents the amount of interest paid. The A in this equation is for the total of payments or rebates including the interest. At present value is the money you put in. The last equation is the big bad of 8.5. It is PV equals R times bracket 1 minus bracket 1 plus I bracket to the power of negative n bracket divided by i. r is used here instead of a because it's a loan and not money we're putting in. So r is the payments you have to put it, you have to give back. Rocco pays $50 for a DVD slash CD player and borrows the remaining amount. He plans to make 10 monthly payments of $40 each. The first payment is due next month. The first part of the question is, the interest rate is 18% annually compounded monthly. What was the selling price of the player? The second part of the question is, how much interest will he have paid over the term of the loan? Julio pays $50 and loans the remaining amount. The selling price is PV plus 50. Sn is what we are looking for, and so we use the equation Sn equals A times R to the power of N minus 1 over R minus 1. Our A value is equal to 40 times 1 plus I to the power of negative 1. R is equal to 1 plus I to the power of negative 1. Our N value is 10, and I is equal to 0 0.18 divided by 12, which is equal to 0 0.015. Plugging in the numbers, we get Sn equals 40 times 1 plus 0 0.015 to the power of negative 1 times 1 plus 0 0.015 to the power of negative 1 bracket to the power of 10 minus 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.015 to the power of negative 1 minus 1. Our final result after the math is 368.8996791. If we add this value to 50, we can get our selling price. Our selling price is then 418.8996791. Therefore, Julio's player is $418.90. In this question, we use the equation I equals a minus PV or I equals R minus PV. Reminder that R is equal to A, which is equal to future value. Our R value is how much you are paying times the number of payments. The payment is $40. $40 times 10 is equal to 400. Our present value is 368.899691. Therefore, plugging in the numbers, we get 400 minus 368.899 
giving us a total of 31.11. Therefore, Julio would have paid $31.11. Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez borrowed $22,000 from the bank to buy a car. Holy smokes! The first question is, if the bank charges 3.3% annually, compounded monthly, how much does Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez have to deposit each month to pay it back? The second question is, how much interest will have Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez have paid over the course of the loan? Since the number of years is not specified, we are going to assume that it is one year. The equation we use is PV equals R times 1 minus 1 plus I to the power of negative N divided by I. Our present value is 22,000. The R value is what we are looking for. N is equal to 1 year times 12 months. I is equal to 0 0.033 divided by 12, which is equal to 0 0.00275. Plugged into the equation, we get 22,000 is equal to R times 1 minus 1.00275 to the power of negative 12. In the end, our R value is now 1,866.269157. Therefore, Julio will have to deposit $1,866.27 each month to meet their goal. To solve the second part of this question, we will use the equation i equals a minus present value. a is equal to r times n. Our r value is 1,866.269157. Our n value is 12. Our a value therefore equals 22,395.22988. I is equal to 22,395.22988 minus 22,000, our present value. This is equal to 395.2298794. Therefore, the amount of interest Julio had paid over the term of his loan is $395.23. That's all, folks.